Right now I'm going to demonstrate how simple it is to really set up a lead follow situation. As you can see, I have a ton of up lights here. I have all the flavors. I have the tri six in my hand. This is going to be the leader. When you set up a lead follow situation and you have quads, flexes, and tries, always take the unit with the lowest amount of colors to be the leader. If you do it with a hex, it's going to send out signals that the try is not going to be able to reproduce and you're going to have issues and blackouts. So I'm going to use the try. It's going to transmit the signal to the quad and all the hex units and you'll see that they actually do what they're supposed to do. Now I've already set up every one of these are set to receive on, in this case, DeFi channel 16. You're going to use whatever channel works best in the room that you're in. I have turned off the reception for the RF control. So these guys will not respond to it. They will only respond to the DeFi signal they are receiving from this unit. This is set to transmit. Everybody else is set to receive. I have set the follow numbers in order, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, down the line, so I can take advantage of the way the auto programs are gonna work. And you're gonna see this is gonna be cool. You've never been able to do this before without DMX. So they're blacked out. I'm gonna set my little tri six over here. I'm gonna bring them on in just a random color. Well, now we have a chase going here. I'm back out of the shot a little bit so you can see that without any DMX, these are going through color changes down the line in an order. And with the auto programs, there's about five built in here that will actually let you change the color. You've never been able to do this without DMX by simply just using a remote control. Again, with preset colors, I can select preset colors. They all take control. Now this uses the 31 color palette that's been designed for the new lenses and LEDs. So you have these great color combinations in here. Now you can turn off the RF reception in these lights and when you're in a situation of lead and follow you do want to do that to all the followers so they don't get confused by trying to respond to a signal you don't want them to do. You only want them to respond to what's being transmitted by the lead fixture through DeFi. So to turn that off you simply run through your menu by pressing menu until you get to RF setting You'll hit enter, and you'll have three choices here. You'll have public, link, or off. Uh, I have this one set to public. We'll turn it to off. You do that for all the other units, then they ignore the RF signal, and only the lead light will listen to the RF. So when you hit blackout, boom, they all come on to the color you have set and your auto programs, and it's doing all the direction. It's telling everybody else what to do, and you'll have no problem. Another thing that you need to do is you need to set the DeFi transmitters to either receive or transmit. For this demonstration, I've taken the Tri-6 and I've set it to transmit. Again, we're gonna to go to the menu and we'll run through until we get to the DeFi setting screen. We'll hit enter, we'll make sure it's on, and then we're going to enter again. And here I've set it to channel 16. We hit enter to lock it. And then we're going to go back and it's be sure when your transmitter, uh, don't put it in DMX mode or it will be looking for a DMX signal. So bring it all the way back to either a static color or an auto program. And hit enter on that. Once you have it set to transmit, it's now the leader. On all the other lights, set them to receive to the same channel that you set your transmitter to and everybody will work together in perfect happy harmony.